What's up guys, in this video we're going to be breaking down Ken Carson's brand new music video, Margiela. It looks hella fire, it's a pretty simple style, but it still looks so clean and that's not for no reason. So I'm going to show you all the sauce in this video. By the way, real quick, if you don't know me yet, my name is Gus and I run the Friendly File Store in which I sell editing packs, presets and templates. Basically all of the sauce you're going to see in those music videos, I make presets for them, you drag them and boom, crazy result. If you want to check them out, I drop my new wave FX V2 presets, which I'll leave down below. Well, with that said, let's get right into this. All right, so there are three effects that I'm going to show you how to do in this video that are pretty simple but super saucy. We're going to start with this effect right here, the rotoscope effect, just like that. So as you can see, we have this Ken Carson click right here. So what we're going to do first is double click on this so that we can rotoscope the Ken Carson right here. So the goal is to really make a mask out of this. So all you got to do is drag it. As you can see, my selection is not perfect. I'm gonna show you real quick how to correct that. So if that happens, you just click on up. You remove that right here. Pretty effective. Yes, Sersky. Doesn't have to be crazy perfect. All right, I'm hoping this is gonna do somewhat of a good job. So as you can see now, when I press spacebar, sometimes you can adjust it, but this is pretty much a rotoscope version so this is like a cool so now all we gotta do is, is click on freeze right here so that you can freeze your frames and now you get that effect instantly because it's basically a rotoscope effect so that's one out of the effects right here another effect that really struck out to me like in a music video was in the beginning you kind of see this like upside down cross but it's made out of rotos of ken carson's body if that makes sense so let me show you how to do that. So we're gonna recreate this effect right here. So we can just make like a base of what we're trying to do. That way it's not too messy. What I'm gonna do is just make a stroke like this. And then let's say we make it, it's gonna be like that long, something like that. And then another to make like a cross, something like that. There we go. We can make it more thin, depends on what we want. All right, so this is somewhat of a cross. Like, you know what I mean? And then we can just take the roll that we had earlier and then we can just kill that down. And then they stretched it out in the music videos as well. So you can kind of stretch it like this. So since it moves a lot, I think what I'm gonna do is make somewhat of just like a slow-mo. So I'm gonna do like time stretch and then do 170. That way it doesn't move as much in the beginning. So now we're just gonna duplicate that. And then we're just gonna keep pasting them until we have or desired effect. So I'm gonna do something like this. Like this. However, these I'm gonna put behind something like another one. We can stretch some. And then for all we know, we can even rotate it. It might look goofy like this, but it's kind of the goal. Create like our own style with it. And those two I'm gonna put behind. And then those two, I'm gonna duplicate them. I'm gonna rotate them like this. And then go on the other side. We can just stretch those. Okay, one. All right, and those two, I think. All right, it's those two I'm gonna put behind. All right, so this is what I got. It doesn't look the same. I'm gonna have to give it to you, but I did it super quick. And you guys kind of get the principle I would have to probably. What if, okay, let me think guys, let me think. So I'm just gonna take a cross image. I'm gonna just duplicate. I'm, I'm just gonna screenshot it on my project. So that's gonna be my base for this. Bam, I can stretch it out just a wee bit. And then I just wanna, just wanna create a mask for it. Then another mask and then make sure that all the masks are uh, to add so it doesn't have to be perfect i think that looks fine and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all of the ken carson the, like composition we can pre-compose it and then call it a cross -ken. if i put the cross ken and set the track map to the alpha like the cross now there's gonna be it's gonna give us this effect right here which is not exactly i'm worried it's not exactly what was displayed in the video I still wanted to cook up some for you guys. And now lastly, I'm gonna show you how to create this loading frame effect. That's very prominent in the video as well. I think we see it a couple of times. Let's get right on it. So, so basically what we want, like when you have a clip, let's say it ends right here, we're gonna do right click, time, and then freeze on last frame. And then it's gonna do that kind of effect that's displayed in your music video. And then we can go low. We can just go get like a GIF of like a loading screen like they used. 
So we can do loading case. As you can see, we have this one right here that could perfectly do the job. I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna download it right here. And now as you can see, it's not transparent, but we could still do the good old trick to put into screen blending mode. And then I could put it to different because it's so like, let's just do pen. I think it stops like right here. So I can make it appear right here. Boom. So now you kind of see that effect that I'm talking about. And now, you know what, ding, 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 bonus effect. I'm gonna show you the absolute sauce when it comes to like those underground videos. And they always have that particular look, you know, like that squeeze image look, it looks super sharp. I'm gonna show you how to do that really fast. All right, so I got this footage from another music video. So often what you're gonna see in that context when you kind of want like that squeeze style that interviews be using is the first thing you're gonna wanna do is come in K and then we're gonna create the width and we're gonna lock the aspect ratio. Cause I low key just now I do like four, I think it's something like 1440 by 1080 for HD. And then if you wanna know for 4K, you just do a lock aspect ratio and then, you know, do times two. But basically, yeah, so it's gonna, it's gonna fit basically like this now, right? So now you can grab the scale and you can just squeeze it just like that. So you can really like do it depending on how much you want it, but you already get that kind of style, that distorted style. And then you could even up it a notch if you do unsharp mask, which is gonna really up your contrast by a lot. So as you can see right now, it's not doing anything. But once you up the radius, you're gonna have that effect right here. So that is definitely a look that everyone is craving for right now. Adds a lot to the style. So that was it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and if it brought you any value, please consider subscribing. We drop sauce on this channel all the time. And please let me know in the comments what else I should cover next. With that said, I'll see you later. Peace.